10 Superfoods That You Shouldn't Overeat Hello viewers, superfoods may be the answer to all of life's problems, such as acne, stress, poor energy levels, and inflammation. Superfoods will always have your back, but the trouble arises when you rely on them too much and forget where to draw the line. If you're thinking, come on, it's just food, how awful can it be? You should watch today's video as we explore superfoods. When you're into eating healthy, you might prefer packing your own food and what better snack than nuts despite being little they pack a ton of nutrients they can easily be tossed in your pocket or bag the fistful of almonds can easily be thrown in your pocket or bag cashews, pistachios, or raisins can do wonders for your body. But with the same number of Brazil nuts health, unfortunately, no, Brazil nuts will not provide massive health benefits. We typically focus on vitamins but overlook minerals, but these nuts include magnesium, calcium, iron, zinc, and, most importantly, selenium. Brazil nuts are one of the greatest vegan selenium sources. Thyroid hormones must be metabolized by the thyroid gland, minimize inflammation and oxidative stress, as well as DNA synthesis. The recommended adult selenium allowance is 55 micrograms. However, one Brazil nut has 61 to 91 micrograms, which is why consuming a handful of these nuts is not a good idea. Your body will be unable to handle the excess selenium and will begin to exhibit acute symptoms such as dizziness, hair thinning upset stomach nails that are brittle it can cause skin lesions and nervous system issues as well as impact your respiratory system and trigger a heart attack or renal failure be aware these can be dangerous but if you limit yourself to one or two brazil nuts every day you should be able to get the most health benefits roast them in the oven with some salt lime juice and spices for a snack alternatively you can use them in pesto sauces trail mixtures cereal dishes chocolate brownies and noodles our next superfood is star fruit, which is distinct from apples and bananas in that it has a lot of fiber and protein. It also contains folate, potassium, magnesium, and copper, which improves its nutritional profile. It is high in vitamin C and aids with blood sugar regulation. It's every salad eater's dream. It's definitely better than a bag of chips and soda, but this is why your favorite tangy fruit might be cheating on you. If you have kidney issues, then it's best to talk to your doctor before eating them regularly. They may ask you to moderate the dose of star fruit or just avoid it completely. This fruit has a high oxalate level and may put undue strain on the fragile kidneys. It can also screw up your nervous system, causing confusion, convulsions, and even death. So always be cautious while brewing your sixth cup of green tea. Green tea offers all of the health benefits that people are raving about. It is healthier than a cup of cappuccino or chai latte. Dietitians recommend it while trying to lose a few pounds because it's high in antioxidants and has been shown to offer exceptional protection against cancer, heart disease, and cognitive decline. Green tea includes caffeine, and people who are susceptible to it may experience sleeplessness. It can block sleep-inducing chemicals and keep you awake, especially if consumed late at night. It may also cause anxiety, irritation, upset stomach, nausea, and other negative effects. Too much caffeine has been reported to cause acid reflux and indigestion. It may be temporary, but getting through your day with heartburn and pain can be difficult. A few people, like coffee, require their regular dose of green tea to relieve headaches. But for the rest, it may be the cause of the throbbing headache. A few uncommon occurrences of liver injury have also been recorded as a result of excessive green tea drinking. Another major disadvantage of excessive green tea consumption is that it interferes with iron absorption and can even lead to iron deficiency anemia. With less iron and oxygen in your blood, you will feel more tired. It's best to consult your doctor if you're taking it with other medications because it has the potential to mess up your blood pressure and heart rate. Overall, green tea is good for you, but don't drink it all at once. Two to three cups of tea each day should plenty. Have you considered trying kombucha? Kombucha has a lot to offer. It's basically fermented green or black tea that's full with vitamins, amino acids, and nutrients. It's high in probiotics, which improve digestion, and polyphenols, which are high in antioxidants and have anti-cancer qualities. It can help you recover from a hard workout or a hangover. But what happens if you drink too much kombucha? A bottle of this beverage will typically contain a lot of added sugar. Those flavored kombuchas may boost your sugar intake, and extra sugar isn't exactly what you're going for. It can even increase your chances of diabetes and obesity. Fatty liver and heart disease now, this would not happen overnight after consuming one bottle but it is definitely a concern. If you've made kombucha your go-to health drink research says that kombucha is contraindicated for people who have cancer kidney disease or HIV it may be immunosuppressive also watch out if you're pregnant or breastfeeding this may not be for you moving forward how frequently do you have avocado smoothies guacamole or avocado slices on toast are guaranteed to put a grin on your face and keep your stomach content. But if you eat the entire avocado in one sitting, you may need to slow down. These fruits are high in vitamins like vitamin K. C, and B, which are necessary for your body's proper functioning. 
They are also high in folate and omega-3, which can reduce inflammation and bloating, but all that goodness may come at a cost if you overdo it. Avocados have the strange ability to increase certain antibodies if you're sensitive to latex, which can worsen your allergic episode. The good fats may increase caloric value, which can help you put on weight quickly, which is why it's recommended to stick to one third of an avocado for roughly 50 grams every day. People with liver issues should avoid it to avoid complete liver failure. It's no surprise that moderation is the key to good life. Hey spice lovers, we know that no exotic recipe is complete without a dash of your secret spices. Whether it's a cup of coffee marinate or rubs if you've just started experimenting with spices I'm pretty sure the starter kit will have this next spice we're talking about. Cinnamon All the unhealthy eating pollutants and chemicals have made the human body rust from the inside up this could increase oxidative stress in our bodies imagine a cut apple left out for a few hours regular cinnamon contains a compound called cumarin, which may put you at risk of cancer and liver damage if consumed in excess. The safe limit for cinnamon is 0.1 mg per kilogram body weight. You can try substituting Cylon cinnamon or true cinnamon, which may pose fewer risks than regular cinnamon or cashew cinnamon. Also, use nutmeg with caution. The festive flavor nutmeg has received attention for its antibacterial, antioxidant, anti-diabetic pain alleviating, liver protecting, and cancer preventive characteristics. However, studies have shown that long-term usage of nutmeg can have mental adverse effects. If you exceed 120 mg per day, you are likely to experience hallucinations. Is your pantry stocked with canned salmon? There's no denying that salmon is a fantastic source of protein and healthy omega-3 fatty acids. It's a fantastic source of protein and healthy omega-3 fatty acids. It's a fantastic source of protein and healthy omega-3 fatty acids. It's a fantastic source of protein and healthy omega-3 fatty acids. It's a fantastic source of protein and healthy omega-3 fatty acids. It's a fantastic source of protein and healthy omega-3 fatty acids. It omega-3 fatty acids have brain-boosting properties and can lower inflammation and the risk of heart disease. But, if you consume more than 3 ounces of salmon every meal, this good element may interfere with your blood clotting capabilities. If you've opted to skip the salmon in favor of tuna, read this before you eat your next meal. Omega-3s can cause delayed wound healing and blood thinning, as well as influence your blood platelet count. Your tuna sandwich may be high in vitamin B12, which can help you avoid high blood pressure and bad vision. Canned tuna has been around for more than a century. But have you given any thought to the canned tuna you purchase? According to study, albacore and white tuna have more mercury than their peers. Mercury toxicity can result in blindness, tremors, and numbness. To keep under the safe limit, this can be quite risky for pregnant women because it can put your baby at risk of developmental defects. Consume no more than 12 ounces of tuna each week, a superfood can quickly become a super failure. Additionally, choosing darker tuna kinds may assist. Hello, spice connoisseurs. We know that without a sprinkle of your secret spices, none of your creative recipes are complete. Whether it's a cup of coffee, a marinade, or a rub, if you are new to experimenting with spices, I am confident that the beginner kit will include this next spice. We're discussing cinnamon. All of the poor eating habits, pollution, and toxins have caused the human body to rust from the inside out. This could lead to an increase in oxidative stress in our bodies. Consider a cut apple that has been left out for a few hours. Because of oxidative damage, it rapidly turns brown. Inside your body, similar things occur. However, cinnamon is one of the best foods for reducing oxidative stress. It is also beneficial for controlling blood sugar levels, decreasing inflammation, and preventing heart disease. Does this imply you should start sprinkling cinnamon on your apple pies? Regular cinnamon contains cumarin, a chemical that, if ingested in excess, may increase your risk of cancer and liver damage. Cinnamon has a healthy limit of 0.1 mg per kilogram body weight. You can try substituting cell on cinnamon or genuine cinnamon for normal cinnamon. It may be less dangerous than normal cinnamon or cashew cinnamon. Also, watch out for nutmeg, the festive spice. Nutmeg has received attention because to its antibacterial, antioxidant, antidiabetic, pain relieving, liver protecting, and cancer prevention effects. However, studies have shown that long-term nutmeg consumption can have mental adverse effects. If you exceed 120 mg per day, you may experience hallucinations, dry mouth, dizziness, and irregular heartbeats. Severe intoxication can possibly result in death, so use caution when using this spice. Alternatively, substitute cloves or allspice in your recipes. Do you have canned salmon in your pantry? Salmon is undeniably one of the most popular foods among health enthusiasts globally. It's a great source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids have brain-boosting properties and help lower inflammation and heart disease risk. However, if you consume more than 3 ounces of salmon every meal, this helpful element may interfere with your blood clotting capacity. Omega-3 fatty acids can induce delayed wound healing, 
blood thinning, and a decrease in platelet count. Listen to this before you take your next bite if you decided to skip the salmon in favor of tuna. Your tuna sandwich may be high in vitamin B12, which can help you avoid high blood pressure and bad vision. Canned tuna has been around for more than a century. But have you given much thought to the canned tuna you purchase? According to study, albacore and white tuna have more mercury than their peers. Mercury toxicity can result in blindness, tremors, and numbness. This is extremely dangerous for pregnant women because it puts your baby at risk of developmental abnormalities. Consume no more than 12 oz of tuna per week to stay within the safe limit. A superfood can quickly become a super flop. Choosing darker tuna varieties may also help. Our next superfood is sure to make a splash. Let us now discuss broccoli. If you've spent your entire life lulling broccoli, this may come as welcome news. Broccoli, in addition to making you bloated and gassy, can swiftly interact with blood-thinning drugs. Because broccoli is high in fiber, eating too much of it may induce gastrointestinal irritation. This does not imply that you will never eat broccoli again. It is still a good source of vitamin C, proteins, potassium, and other minerals. When consumed in moderation, it is the best low-fat snack. Because you are what you eat, you should pay close attention to what you put into your body. Please let us know in the comments section below.